focus to what ISRO has released. The Indian Space Research Organization has released the latest images of Chandrayaan-3. Now, the mission uh, is already in some very important phase uh, and some important maneuvers that have been completed. The separation of the lander and the rover has happened and the images captured by the lander position detection camera. Let's try and have a look what exactly these images are. Uh, this is what has been captured, I believe, Chandra as captured by the lander position camera on board Chandrayaan-3 on August 15, 2023. These images, these blurred images of the black and white images, I believe are the craters on the moon or, or the, the site of the moon that you can see. This is fascinating. It, I, I, I understand that this is not as clear as one it, uh, would like it to be. But this is fascinating because Chandrayaan-3 and the position detection camera which is in place is capturing these images on board Chandrayaan-3, this detection camera, and it was sent on the Independence Day. Images released by ISRO. This is the entire reason, one of the reasons why we are going closer to the southern side of the moon. And look at these images on your screen right now. I believe this is one portion of the moon of Chandra has been captured by the lander position detection camera on board Chandrayaan-3 on the 15th of August 2023. Shrishti with us on the broadcast uh, to give us more perspective. Shrishti, tell us about these images. Yes, uh, so uh, as we know, so yesterday when the lander module separated from the propulsion module, it has now inched much closer to the moon. And the images that have recently been uh, shared by ISRO uh, uh, show us uh, the lunar surface in much closer details. We can see the craters on the surface of the moon. Uh, if you remember, the ISRO had earlier also shared the images from the lunar surface when uh, the lander module had injected itself into the lunar orbit. So these are the la final few days of Chandrayaan uh, 3 as it you know, uh, gets ready to land on the moon. So uh, I'm sure this must have reignited the imagination of uh, billions of Indians who are really looking forward to the landing on August 23rd. As we move forward, Shrishti, and uh, I, I'm just curious to know, these images, does ISRO tell us that which part of the moon this is? We are awaiting to see the southern part of the moon, which has been a mystery so far. But do we know what exactly, which part of uh, moon this really is? Yes, so uh, as uh, uh, ISRO had earlier highlighted that the landing is expected on the south polar region of the moon, which is a relatively dark uh, uh, region. And uh, as of now, the details which are available do not really clearly explain as to what region they have captured. But uh, uh, the uh, idea is that they have been captured from a distance of about 100 kilometers from the lunar surface. So, uh, but th this is far from the landing site, which is clearly known because we are yet to reach the altitude from where the landing site can be captured. Right. So, we'll have to wait and uh, uh, wait for the update from ISRO in that regard. We'll have to wait for the update from ISRO in that regard. Uh, when this particular mission is completed, fingers crossed, and uh, I mean, I'm sure and a lot of us are hopeful that this would be completed successfully. The southern part of moon is what this pursuit is has been all about. Uh, when the landing really happens before that, are there any other important steps or maneuvers that need to be completed for it to be successful? I'm trying to understand the various steps that lie in the way. Shrishti. Uh, definitely. So, ISRO has uh, lined up another uh, critical maneuver, which is a braking maneuver at about 4, 4.30 p.m. Uh, in an hour from now, where the uh, lander module would be, uh, would, you know, would uh, be brought to a slightly lower orbit, much closer to the lunar surface. Uh, post a separation that happened on Thursday. So over the next few days, uh, ISRO, the ground team of ISRO is going to closely monitor the health of the spacecraft and bring it closer and closer to the lunar surface. The uh, precise orbit is about 100 kilometers into 23 kilometers from the lunar surface. And once it is positioned over the landing site near the south pole of the region, then the uh, uh, power descent would uh, be carried out on August 23rd evening. Hmm. So uh, the de-boost is planned uh, around 4 to 4.30 p.m. Uh, this evening. And once it is successfully done, we will be edging closer to our uh, final destination in on the south pole of the moon. Final destination, south pole of the moon. That's what is the dream. That's what is the hope in the coming time. And that's what Shristi is pointing out. So Chandra, as the as this particular text on the screen says, that's what ISRO has written here. L let's have a look at this text. 
Chandra as captured by the lander position detection camera on board Chandrayaan-3 on the 15th of August 2023. Now the interesting bit is we still don't know which part of the moon this is. This is definitely not the southern part of the moon because that part is dark and it will take a while for that to be completed. But the images are fascinating. We await the details from ISRO to tell us what exactly which part of the moon this is. As, as we go nearer to that big date, uh, Shristi, where the mission is going to be completed, just to dip uh, back in time about what it project took, the learnings that we had from Chandrayaan-2 and how is Chandrayaan-3, very briefly, different from the earlier mission? Yes, so uh, India returns to the moon four years uh, since its last attempt in 2019 when the entire mission had gone as planned, but we could not achieve a successful landing on the moon. The last 15 minutes of terror that we all are aware of when the hopes of uh, uh, billions of Indians yes. turned into disappointment. But this time, what we have done, a lot of improvements. Uh, ISRO has worked a lot on this spacecraft. It has increased the area of the landing site to ensure that the landing can be attained. Uh, it designed the spacecraft in a way that we had a propulsion module which was carrying the lander as well as the rover to the uh, lunar orbit and there are additional solar panels. So a lot of experiments were conducted this time to ensure that any kind of failure, any kind of failure that could be expected can be corrected immediately. Uh, News 18 has spoken to a lot of scientists during the day as well and it said that we have made a lot of correction uh, this time and ensured that any, any kind of uh, error that creeps in during the last final stages can be immediately corrected and a precise landing can be, uh, uh, you know, can be obtained on August 23rd evening. Hmm. A precise landing can be, can be obtained. And as Shushri is pointing out, a billion hopes had dashed earlier when Chandrayaan-2 was not successful. But those learnings uh, have been taken to a logical conclusion. 